from the get to work and get things done school. And I'll work with anyone who wants to do the people's business. Promising to fight to fix the broken politics in Washington? In a surprise announcement, former Maryland Governor Larry Hogan says he is running for the Senate. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Hogan filed his candidacy just afternoon today, shaking up the Senate race and put it in play for Republicans. So the stakes are high for control of Congress nationally, and more money and attention will likely now flow into Maryland. WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren is live in South Baltimore with the impact of Hogan's bombshell announcement. Mike. Bombshell indeed, Vic and Denise. Hogan stressed bipartisanship in his campaign announcement, and he quickly drew attacks from the top Democrats vying to replace retiring Senator Ben Cardin. My fellow Marylanders, you know me. Former Governor Larry Hogan is back on the ballot in Maryland. The Republican, who enjoyed high approval ratings during his two terms in office, stunned many with the announcement of his Senate run just before the filing deadline. Maryland is known as the state of middle temperament. We believe in common decency and common sense. Like the exhausted majority of Marylanders, I'm completely fed up. It could change the national political map with Democrats now having to spend on a seat they thought to be reliably in their column, with the margin for control of the Senate razor thin as they defend more open seats than Republicans. Two things are true at the same time. One, this is going to be an uphill battle for any Republican trying to win statewide in Maryland for a U.S. Senate race, for a federal race. Um, the second thing is, uh, is true is that you don't discount a two-term Republican governor who maintained a six, 65 to 70 percent approval rating over eight years. Malia Cromer with Goucher College wrote a book on Hogan, Blue State Republican. As somebody who wrote an entire book on Larry Hogan, I was surprised, as everybody else was, that he decided to throw his hat into the ring today. Enough is enough. Hogan rebuffed a Senate run last cycle and flirted with a run for the presidency. He previously headed the No Labels political party and has been a fierce critic of former President Trump. I didn't support him in the last two elections and don't think he should be anywhere near the White House again. The two top Democrats running for Senate, David Trone and Angela Also Brooks, quickly pounced on Hogan. Trone told WJZ Larry Hogan's candidate candidacy is nothing but a desperate attempt to return Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump to power and give them the deciding vote to ban abortion nationwide. Also Brooks saying, we know what's at stake in this election, our fundamental freedoms over our bodies. When I join the Democratic majority, I'll be a leader in fighting to defend those freedoms. Larry Hogan will still have to win a Republican primary, but right now um, he certainly will have immediately more name recognition um, and more money than any of the other candidates that are currently filed to run. Republican John Tykert is one of those who is challenging Hogan in the Republican primary. He said today he welcomes the competition. He is endorsed by Hogan's former lieutenant governor, Boyd Rutherford. Reporting live in South Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ. All right, thank you, Mike.